Hey guys, welcome back to the pink envelope. I have that second truck club that I ordered while with you guys in the last video. I'm very interested to see what is inside this box. If you want to learn all the really great details about trunk club and how everything works, you're going to go want to go watch this video up here. I take time to walk through the whole process of how trunk club functions, the wins, the losses, all the goods for this video. I just want to do a quick try on. So I did tell them when I ordered this box, do not shop the teen section. Do not send only made well and free people. I once again, reiterated my favorite influencers and how they dress as inspiration for the curation of this box. If you're a little bit lost as to what I'm talking about, go watch that last video I linked earlier. It's also in the description below. And you guys, I spent a lot of time on the description. So if you go down there, it actually has vital information, not just a bunch of random affiliate links. And so this box is coming off of, I guess what I would call a not so win box. If you go check this video up here, this is a summer haul I did for our trunk club. There was a huge win, like really, really, really good stuff. So I'm a Nordstrom card holder. These boxes do not cost me anything to get. So I order them at my leisure enough talking. Let's start playing dress up. Let me go get the first outfit on. Okay. Literally the outfit on top. The first thing I pull out is this dress by Madewell. A little bit conflicted though, because I actually happen to really love this dress. Like I really love this dress. Same descriptor as last time. I need really cute clothes for on the go fashion that I can wear to a work meeting as well as be a mom and be with my kids. And I feel like this dress describes that I could throw on any type of denim jacket, layering of all sorts with this to make it cute, but I literally could go exactly how I am right now and be done. Love the color. This is one of my favorite colors. So I don't know y'all it's made well, which is the one thing I said, do not put in my box, but now I'm glad they didn't listen. So trunk club has an app, which makes checking out really easy. So I want to go to the app. You all, what the what that scared the poop out of me. <laughs> that freaked me out. The sticky thing that holds the wreath on the door, like this guy just fell off. And funny fact, that sticky thing has been on that door for two plus years now. And it left no mark. The door looks amazing. I'm going to totally take advantage of it. See if I can pull this one off and do some redecorating, but that scared the poo poo out of me. Okay. Let's get back to where we were. So, I'm on the app. Your trunk has arrived. It's time for you to decide what you want to keep. I did ask for an extension. So where it says zero days left to check out, don't let that make y'all panic. I asked for an extension and they said, totally no problem. But does anybody see the dress I'm wearing anywhere on this receipt? Because I'm not seeing it. There's the end. I'm at the end. So this dress is nowhere on the receipt. I've never had that happen. I guess I'll just email them and ask, is there a tag? No, there's no tags anywhere either. How weird. So I have no idea how much the Madewell dress that I actually like cost. That is so weird. Okay. Um, let me go grab the next item in the box. I just wanted to pop in here real quick and say, if you want a free $50 to go shopping with it, trunk club, Go down below and use the URL to sign up through me and I'm going to give you $50 to shop with. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love this. This, this right here is why I use clothing subscription boxes in the store. I would never go pick this up. Like this just isn't in my style. I would walk right past it. But since it was in my box, I pulled it out. I saw it. I put it on and I love it. I love the flutter sleeves. I love that it's a little bit sexy, but it's still, very appropriate. Like there's not stuff showing it's comfortable, totally fun for a date night. I would definitely have to take this up a little bit. You can see here, it's a little loose and you can see the hips are off right here. But if I just pinch this up just a little bit, let's have the seamstress, just have the seamstress take it up just a little bit right there. I think the hips fall into place now. I just, I don't know. I feel like it falls together. What do you guys think? If I have it taken up right there, a smidge, is this a keep or not a keep? Let's see how much it is. That's let's see that it's 
only $88. The whole suit's only $88. So if I spent another 20 getting this altered a little bit, it is still well within budget for a great outfit. This is the Lulu's Toast to You Flutter Sleeve Jumpsuit in Dusty Navy Blue. I love, love, love this. And she wrote, my stylist, how do you feel about a jumpsuit? If this isn't your style, we can swap it out for a dress. I'm super glad she challenged me with this jumpsuit. Okay, yay. This is a big win for changing things up and getting stuff that is definitely more my style. Okay, here are two more items. The top and the pants are both from my trunk club box. I, I feel like we're close, you guys, but it's not there. Like I love the idea of these pants and I love the idea of the top, even if the top is a little stitch fixy for me. Like looks like a top from Stitch Fix, which don't know why I have a hang up with that, but I think I'm discovering I might have a hang up with that. Another topic for another day. If you want to watch a Stitch Fix haul I just did that maybe has made me jaded go up here. Anyhow, this, I think it's just off. What are your thoughts? I feel like the pants are supposed to be a little bit tighter and they're a little bit too long. So I'd have to have them taken in twice, which will probably blow them out of budget. Let's see. The Nick and Zoe Wonder Stretch Straight Leg Pant. Love that. Oh, normal retail value, $128 on sale for $57.60. So at $57.60, that is a great price, but it would be basically an overhaul of the pant and I don't think I wanna do that. And although the top I think is cute, like it's just a basic top, um, I'm not in love with it. Like when I see the look, I, I just don't feel beautiful in it. And I think that's a really important thing. Regardless to what anybody else says, if when you put on an outfit, you do not feel beautiful or happy to be in it, get rid of the outfit. Because you won't wanna wear it and it will go to waste. So here are my thoughts. I would love to hear y'all's thoughts because I'm always open to feedback and growing. Okay, let's go. Oh, let me tell you about the top. I didn't tell you about the top. Halogen lace and crepe top. Blue cashmere is the color, $59. So the pants and the top right now are the same, same price point. Okay, let's go grab another look. So this top, not the pants, these are from my closet, but this top is the next thing I pulled out of my box. It is so soft, you guys. It is just a basic white button down. It has a little bit of striping on it to kind of give it some texture, but it is incredibly soft. It is Treasure and Bond Dobie Classic Shirt in white, $59. I love it. I So for those of you who have this gapping issue, like what do y'all do about that? I have returned so many shirts that I loved because it gaps. Now this one actually is the best. Like I'm moving and it, it gaps a little bit. It doesn't do the really big gapping. Do y'all put like a mini button there? Do you just embrace it? Like what are your thoughts there? And I actually, let me, let me go try this real quick. Give me just a sec. What do we think about this? This is a sweater vest from my last front door fashion box. I'll link that box up here if you want to check it out. But they sent a white button down underneath that didn't work. Like it had big gapping and it was weird. So I've been looking for a new replacement white button down to go under the sweater vest. What do we think? Does this one work? Is this going to be like a, a huge accidental win or maybe I wonder if she watched my video. I wonder if the stylist watched my video. Cause this box is completely different from my last box. Like if you have not seen the last one, just go scan through it at least. The outfits were nothing on my style profile, nothing I've ever worn before. It was like such a weird rogue box. Whereas this box already, I'm gonna have to decide what to keep and what to send back because I'm gonna blow my budget. I'm loving it. But tell me, does this work? Hmm? What do we think? Okay, what do we think about this top? Once again, these are the same pants that are mine. This top came in the box. I think I love it. I love the sleeve. I love the color. What do you guys think? This is like way outside my norm. And uh, once again, not something I would normally pick up, but I feel cute in it. It feels cute. The other funny thing is if you've hung around here at all, you know, I have like this hang up with polyester. Like why is everything polyester? I hate polyester. This is polyester. Yet I'm standing here saying, I think it's cute. I feel bad for stylists who have to deal with people like me. Okay, this is the CC Garden Geo Print Ruffle Sleeve Top, extra small in Valley Peach, $69. So back to my topic earlier, when I think of a polyester top, I think of like $15.99 to $25.99. 
So 69 feels expensive, but of course, this is one of the first ever polyester tops that I was like, I feel so cute in this. Now I'm torn. Is it worth it? That's a lot of money. You ever just sit and you just think, I, I'm like eating my own words. Like, here's another polyester top. And not just a polyester top, it's a polyester top with floral print, which are like the things I have been raging about in my past videos that I hate florals and Stitch Fix only sends floral tops and Stitch Fix only sends polyester and I like went crazy cat keyboard on them and sent them an email. Then I get this in my trunk club that is a floral polyester top and I'm like, I love it. I love it. I don't know what the difference is. I will find this out. I will figure it out. But I love this top. Now, I have not seen floral prints like this over at Stitch Fix. They do the busier, smaller prints, and it's the same prints that literally, I got a top eight years ago that I got in a box just the other day. So I don't know where the hang up is. I love this. I love this mauve color. I love the cut of the sleeve. I love the type of floral that's on this. Um, I am also noticing that these are more expensive. So this is literally a cut from the cloth top which is a Stitch Fix brand. Uh, but this top is $69. So, I mean, I don't know if it's just a higher level. I, I really don't know what to think. So this is the Jasmine top. The nude boots that I was wearing earlier came from a past trunk. Uh, I will link it up here if you wanna check that out. It's like a year or so old. And then the bar earrings that I kept from my last trunk club she recommends for this outfit. So this stylist actually took the past items from my past boxes and created outfits around them. So maybe that's it. Maybe this is a color tone that I love. And I know I can wear those boots. It's very cohesive. Um, this is like my fix that I got, the beach fix that I got, that everything was a win. I feel like we've rounded back, which let me jump on the soapbox real quick with you guys. This is why you try a box more than once. If you get one box or even two boxes and quit, because your stylist didn't get you, you are quitting a little too early for your stylist to be able to get you. Most of these companies, if you contact them and say, hey, listen, I want to keep shopping with you, but I paid a $20 styling fee and I got nothing, we'll comp your next box. They will not charge you that styling fee. They really do want you to be happy. If you're a Nordstrom credit card holder, you get your trunks for free so you can just keep them going. But I'm super glad that I had a failed trunk two wind trunks, a fell trunk, and now another wind trunk that I have stuck with it because I have done absolutely nothing to have all of these clothes curated and shipped to my door. And now I'm just trying them on my house, the comfy of my home with my real jeans and my real shoes with you guys. I love it. Another thing I hear a lot is, well, you're paying more. Absolutely, I'm paying more. I'm gonna pay for the fact that I did not curate or shop anything. I created no outfits. I shipped nothing. I went nowhere. I talked to no one except for you guys. Yeah, that is something I am willing to pay for. I am super excited about how big of a win this trunk is. I cover this in more detail in that other video about how returns are made, how exchanges are made, et cetera. But I wanna show you this. So when you're on the Trunk Club app, you can go and do all of your checking out there. So. Go to the item, like we're talking about this cut from the cloth top, and mark which one. I want to keep this top. I like the style, I like the pattern, I like the brand. I guess I like the brand. <laughs> I like the color, I like the fabric, I like the size and fit. I write intricate notes. So I'm gonna say another poly ester stitch fix labeled shirt that is a win great job and letting her know that normally i don't like stitch fix looking tops and normally i don't like polyester looking tops but you know what she figured out how to make it work and i want her to know i am thankful for that it gives her some insight to my personality and how i think which makes it easier for my stylist to curate for me and then she just sent a basic white tee, which is kind of smart because I like to replace my basic white tees pretty often. It has a good fit, a little bit of sleeve pucker, which I don't love. Um, it's 100% cotton, but it's not very soft. I'm wondering if once I wash it, it would get soft. I like it, but it is, by all saints, it's $50. And I just don't know if I wanna spend $50 on a basic white tee 
when for just a couple dollars more, I can get that really cute top I just had on or the one before that. So although I think this is cute, it is a good fit. It's a great tee. I don't think I'll be keeping it because I want to spend my dollars elsewhere. Okay, this dress came in the box and I don't know what to think. Like, I love how sporty it is. It's super comfy. I definitely have to focus on holding in the mommy pouch, which is not like my favorite thing to do. And it's probably a little chesty to wear with the kids, but it's so different. Funny thing about me is I rarely to never wear the color black. Don't actually know why. If this were like in a pink or a blue, I think it'd be hands down slam dunk. Let's see if it comes in. The open edit scoop neck midi dress. It's only $49, just comes in the color black. And she told me to pair it with these shoes. I bought these Toms in one of my last trunks. It's probably been about a year ago. They were on super clearance. And I was like, I need animal print and I need Toms. And this will check both of those boxes. And so she made an outfit wearing these. I think she fulfilled all the requests. I just think this isn't quite my style. But I wish it was. Like, I wish I would wear this. But I know that I wouldn't. And last, but certainly not least, are these boots. Whoop, flip them. There we go. These are the Chelsea Boot by Tory Burch. They're $378. The last time I spent around $400 on a pair of boots was six or seven years ago, and I still wear them to this day. And at the time that I was buying them, everybody was like, oh my gosh, that's so expensive. But if you calculate it, it comes to about $50 a year. They still look amazing. They are still one of my all time favorite pair of boots to wear. So I'm a big proponent of finding your splurge items and sticking with them. However, I tried super hard to get these on my foot, but they're the ones that have the, was the goss or what's the stretchy material called <laughs> built in. So you have to like pull it on after two attempts and seeing the wrinkle leathering, the leather wrinkling on the side, I called it quits. I don't want my shoe to be difficult to put on, and this one most definitely is, even if it is so stinking cute. So where it matches on the style profile, it doesn't work on the convenience profile. Okay, that's a wrap. I have to say, I feel like you know you have a hands-on good stylist when you walk through a trunk like we just did. Even though I told her no Madewell, she found a Madewell dress that she knew would fit for me. Uh, she pivoted the whole box from the last one to curating what she sent me and I want to keep over half the box. I'm going to have to pick to find which works with the budget. She sent me polyester but showed me how to like polyester which is still a little bit mind blowing. All in all, I have to say this is another very successful Trunk Club unboxing. If you guys want to see more Trunk Club, as I've mentioned throughout this video, I have uh, several other videos. I highly recommend you check out Front Door Fashion. They are another big time favorite of mine. If you sign up with me here, I'm gonna give you $50 off your first trunk. So you go below, you use my URL, and you will get $50 if you're a new member to shop with. Same thing with Front Door Fashion. If you wanna go check them out, if you're a new member, use my link and it will give you $50 to go shop with. And even though I've ragged on Stitch Fix a little bit, they're not my favorite, but I know a lot of people who love them. If you want to give them a try, use the link below. I can give you $50 to shop with them as well. As far as I'm concerned, you have nothing to lose. Give them a try. Use that free money to have some fun with. I would love to hear you guys' feedback on all of these clothes. I have a little bit of time before I make returns, so I'm going to wait to see what you guys say before packing up that box and sitting it out front for FedEx to come pick it up. Yes, I don't even have to go return it. They come to me. It's glorious. I hope that you guys have an absolutely amazing day and I'll see you guys later. Bye y'all.